coaching services and today in our From Our Bookcase vlog I'd like to talk to you about an article that I found in the Psychologies magazine. This is the April 2019 edition and there's a great article in here about learning to say no and how it can be really beneficial. Here it is. So basically it's saying that if you are the kind of person who sometimes finds that they're saying yes to things that actually only cause them more stress or make them feel uncomfortable, then there are some benefits to learning how to say no. In the first instance, they give you four separate ideas to follow. One of them being to think about what your priorities are. Who are your key friends that lift your mood? Are your family a priority? Certain members of your family a priority? So that if somebody is asking you to do something and they are very down on the list, then you would find it easier to say no. It also says that we have to recognise if we have FOMO, fear of missing out. If we suffer from that, then we need to address that first. Because that fear of missing out often makes us say yes to things that we don't really want to go to or could make us feel really anxious or stressed. Also, it talks about, again, as I've said, thinking about those people who actually lift you up. You should spend time with them on a regular basis, so they should always have a space in your diary. But you should also think about, are you the kind of person who needs a certain amount of time at home in the week? How much do you need? And that should go in your diary first. So your first priority is yourself and the time that you need in your own space to relax, to gather your thoughts together and to de-stress. The second priority is to make sure that there are time for those people who are your priorities in your life, be they family or friends, and also those people who give you a lift who are your energy boosters. Address FOMO and try and learn to say no. It's a useful article to read and I recommend it to you now. Give it a look in Psychologies magazine.